Hello guys and welcome back. As you might have seen from the title, today's video will be about silver nitrate, an inorganic silver compound that has very unique and useful properties. So let's get straight to the video. Like many other salts, silver nitrate is also a generic white crystalline solid that dissolves very well in water. It has many uses in chemistry, industry, and medicine. It's used as an antiseptic and for treating some kinds of disease. But it has a very annoying side effect. If it touches your skin, it will permanently stain it black. But in the past, silver nitrate was even more extensively used in photography as it decomposes under light producing element or silver that stained the paper and therefore produced negative photo. Also, it was used to make mirrors, a process that we will try in this video along with some other reactions with it. So firstly, we will make the silver mirror. The proper chemical name for this reagent is Tolan's reagent. It's a mixture of silver nitrate solution, along with some ammonia and sodium hydroxide. The resulting solution is very sensitive to reducing agents, especially for aldehydes or compounds that contain an aldehyde group. That is also the main affliction for the Tolan's reagent in the lab. But it quickly degrades over time and becomes unuseful and potentially even dangerous. That's because it can slowly decompose over time and form one of the most unstable explosives, silver nitride. This can also form if the Tolan's reagent is not prepared the right way, so you must be careful when you prepare it. To start the Tolan's reagent synthesis, it's pretty straightforward. You need to mix the three chemicals in the right proportions. Firstly, you need to measure out some dilute silver nitrate solution. Then to that you then add some drops of sodium hydroxide solution. A brown precipitate should immediately form. The reaction here produces silver hydroxide and sodium nitrate, but the silver hydroxide formed here is unstable and it immediately decomposes to silver oxide as this brown precipitate. Next, we need to add some dilute solution of ammonia, around 10% to be exact. We need to add it until all of the oxide dissolves, forming our Tolan's reagent. And now, if we want to get the silver mirror, all we need is to add a reducing agent in the Tolan's reagent. The most suitable and easy set to use reducing agents are Aldo sugars. That means that they have an aldehyde group in them. Opposite are ketoses that have a ketone group. Some of the most simple aldoses are glucose and galactose. And one important ketosis, for example, fructose. We just used glucose because we had it on hand. So to the Tolan's reagent, we added some random amount of glucose solution. We mixed the solution and then moved it to a warm water bath to speed the reaction. Eventually the solution became dark and it kept getting darker and darker until it looked that there was something starting to deposit on the flask's walls. It is our silver mirror forming. So our glucose reducted the Tolan's reagent to elementary silver which deposited on the flask's walls. OK, 
Okay, so that was the silver mirror. Next interesting experiment is adding a copper wire in the silver nitrate solution. Ions undergo a displacement reaction, which ends up yet again depositing elementor silver on the wire surface, and the crystals of silver growing larger and larger over time, resulting in the formation of a structure that kind of resembles tree. This next experiment isn't related to silver nitrate, but we've included it anyway. It is another experiment in which metal crystals grow. This time, tin crystals. It is performed by connecting a battery into a tin-2 chloride solution. The electrons reduce the tin chloride to elementor tin. The metal then forms crystals which start to grow towards the other pole of the battery. And of course, we had to finish it in style. So we prepared a mix of magnesium powder and silver nitrate. This mix is incredibly sensitive and the best way to light it is to add a drop of water to it. Anyway, that's it for the video. We hope that you enjoyed and as always, bye.